Hi, this is Sam. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to take a move with Vassal. This is when you've had an opponent take a move and send over a log file. And um, here I've saved a log file. And this is actually a log file from the move I had just created in my last screencast. So we're just all you have to do is double click on it. Um, if you're getting this via an email as an attachment, just open up the attachment. However you want, you know, however you want to do that. Some people just open it up straight from their email. Some people like to save it to their hard disk first. But either way will work. So I double click that. And now this has opened up my Memoir 44 Vassal program. And I usually like to move the, the log portion up a little bit and then click on the magnifying glass and do fit visible. And that expends out the board to get maximum exposure there. That's very nice. Now, so this is the move that my opponent has taken, the allies. So to see his move, I've opened up his log file and I'm going to click on this button. And as I do so, I'm going to see um, a little notice here of what's going on, what he's doing. I'm seeing that he's taking cards into his hand. Now, keep note that sometimes there are actions that the opponent will do, and you'll click the forward button and nothing will happen. Um, I, I don't know why that is, but some actions it doesn't really keep track of, but it does keep track of all the critical actions. So if you click it and nothing seems to happen, you know, don't worry about it. it. It may not always show a line in the log here. But here I see my opponent plays direct from HQ. Here I see my opponent has sh indicated which units he's going to order. And notice that that didn't come up as a, as a line item here. Okay, now I see that he's moving his pieces. Okay, he's taking his movements. He moved that one, that one's done. That one's done with his move. Okay, now I see that he's going to attack. And he's attacking this guy. Keep clicking. And I see that he's rolled. Rolls one die and he got an INF. That stands for infantry. I can also see that here. Okay. And I just see that he took off the Axis Infantry Strength. is now down to three. And he's done with that attack. Now we go to the next attack here. And he's going to roll the die. Now one thing to note when you roll the die, I don't know why it does this, but like if I'm rolling three dice, um, I'll click the arrow like three times and then on the fourth time it'll show the die roll. So sometimes if there's like a six die roll, it'll be just clicking one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the seventh one it'll show up. I'm not sure why that is, but it's just the way it works. Alright, so he's uh, rolled another infantry, so they're going to take that down to two. You see that infantry is down to a strength of two. And he's done with his move. So I just keep clicking. Uh, okay, the allies took a card. And uh, keep clicking. He's clearing off the board. Um, and he's ended his turn. Now, basically, I just keep clicking that forward arrow until, uh, until the log file is done. And when the log file is done, it'll automatically bring up a prompt for me to start a new log file. And this is really convenient. I just click yes. And then I'm going to save a log file. So <clears throat> I'll save it to my Vassal Saved Games again. I usually do this in my documents, but um, you know, the naming convention can be anything you want, but let's just say we're just going to do this naming convention. So now uh, convention. So now I'm taking the second turn of the game, and so I do 02, and I save that, and now my log file has started, and I can start straight in on my turn, and uh, everything's good to go. So that is how you do it. Now, there's one thing that this skipped, I'm just noticing, and that is um, since it knows I already played the allies turn, it's look, it's thinking I'm the allies. So I'm actually would be taking an ally turn again. Um, but if you send this to another person, when they opened up the f initial log file, it would ask what side they want to play on, and they'd choose Axis. And that way they can see the Axis cards and not the ally cards. So that's one little thing potentially confusing there, but um, that would work properly if you were really sending this back and forth. So that's how you do it. And then you send the log files back and forth to take your turns. And that's how you do it. And uh, play by email with Vassal and Memoir 44.